Yo, what's going on boys? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can reach upwards of a thousand FPS just like I am. Um I'm obviously on a decent PC, but this is also with my uh ultimate service, my hundred dollar package. And you can see my latency is not really existent. I'm also I know it says loping in the top, but um reality I'm in on 30 because I'm in Canada. So this is basically going to be a basic to advanced guide on how you can optimize your game, your Fortnite, in a way that you can reach higher FPS and get good results just like I am here. So what you guys are first going to want to do is when you are in the game, go to your settings. First, make sure you're on full screen. Full screen is always going to be the best. It's going to help you with the lowest amount of latency and the best FPS because your entire computer is focused on the full screen, not other windows. Next, you're going to want to do your resolution. I personally just like 1920 by 1080. I wouldn't use stretch res. There's not really any benefit to it. And on top of that, if you do want to use stretch res, make sure you do it properly with CRU. If you guys would like me to make a video or a tutorial on how to use CRU, I can. I will happily do that for you guys. But if your PC isn't good enough, maybe go down. Go to 1600 by 900. This is still native, so it's not going to be like stretch your game. still going to look like normal. Um... Yeah, and you're, you're going to be able to, after this optimization video, be able to fly. And you're going to be able to, like, have really low uh, input latency. As you can see, like, I'm getting 700 to all the way up to, like, 1,000 FPS, even while for just free building. Um, but yeah, next, your frame rate limit. Put this to your monitor. So I have a 270, so I should in go in, uh, in the game files and change this to 270, but there's not really a point for me anymore. I don't really care that much. Um, but yeah, make sure it's your monitor certs for the lowest latency because your monitor is going to register the frames better. Um, next, for your rendering mode, don't do DX12. Uh, if you have a really good PC, you can get away with DirectX 12. Uh, just make sure you don't use 11, I meant. But you, you, can, you can use 12 if you have a good PC. But I would just use performance mode because there's not really a losing scenario to using performance mode. Uh, it's just better in every way. Obviously, these are all preference. Lower brightness can help your latency, but that's more or less on your monitor. Uh, next, on your 3D resolution, I would I would just keep it at 100. If you're gonna change it, do 70% or like do like so. Let's say I want to do 85. I would do 85% of this number, but I would just leave it at 100 just so it's not too pixelated. Uh, next, you're just gonna want all these off. You can test your textures between low and like medium. Um, low and like medium and high can help your latency because it can take the load off of your GPU. As you can see, like my game still feels fine, still looks fine, still getting constant 240. But it can take the load off, but it's not guaranteed. Um, make sure your meshes are on low as well. Make sure your show FPS is off. For performance stats, you don't really need that. For your audio settings, these are obviously all personal preference. But then down here, I would turn high audio quality on. I feel like you can hear footsteps a bit better. Um, 3D headphones, you want off. Background audio off. Visualize sound effects on. Your audio output device, make sure that it isn't on default like mine. Make sure it's on your actual one uh music again whatever and that's really all you need for this i guess you can scroll oh yeah you can go to the game one and you can turn off all of the energy savings and replays as you can see i have all mine off i have these ones on though because sometimes you need replays but make sure all these are off they're basically just saving power for no reason and now let me turn on my display capture so i can show you guys what you're gonna want to do outside of the game click windows r local app data percent Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, game user settings. Uh, you guys should be able to just open it, but I'm on a stripped OS, so it's only with uh, Notepad++ for me. You guys are going to want to copy all my settings. So make sure B show grass is turned to false. Motion blur turned to false. Show FPS turned to false. Latency tweak, all these false. Recommended. Uh, these don't really matter. Make sure all these are zero. False, false. This again doesn't really matter. And then as you scroll down more, you're going to see all these. Make sure all these are a zero and make sure your resolution is 100. Make sure your V-Sync is false and your frame rate limit. Make sure you put this to your monitor. So if you have 165, 240, 360, whatever it may be, make sure it's that. Uh, 
these don't matter and n neither do these what you can also do is go to properties compatibility disable full screen change high dpi apply and then open and then once this opens you can go to your settings scroll all the way down turn on throttle downloads put this to that go to your fortnite add additional and put no texture streaming this might affect your fps a little bit but it is going to make your game feel a lot smoother and then you guys can also set your qos policy but that will be a different video a network video um there's not really too much else you can do you can go to your nvidia control panel if you have one you can go to manage 3d settings you can go to programs and then you can turn this to off make sure you add fortnite add browse this pc program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 put sharpening off click apply um all these settings i mine aren't even done because i again i don't care that much right now i can do them in two seconds as well with my custom uh, nvidia profile like i literally just do this and this and this this you guys can get a uh, i guess some free nvidia two weeks out of this import it open and now you should see these are all the best settings i'm not going to just sit here and scroll on all of them though because that's for a different video um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed there's not really too much else you can do for the game um all i can recommend for you to do is get a service go to purchase tweak in my discord these are all my prices i've worked with tons of your favorite pros i guarantee it i re-scented plalism snacky chris like steve's kiko vortex frantic playify Oliver OG, C Slate, L's, Death NYC, L2 Coop, Pain, G Money, Tyco, Braids, Nevify, Bronos, and Hixie, just to name some. Um, it also tells you everything that I do. Yeah, there's not really too much else for you guys to know, though. If you guys do want to get a service, make sure you just DM me on Discord. My Discord is just Skio, and then my Discord is discord.gg slash ski. You can join by putting add a server and typing in SKII. Have an amazing day or night wherever you're from. Peace and be safe.